There are some who seek to play the restaurant game with class, while there are the others who think that it's overrated. Where does the simple-minded person go to just relax? Nowhere. Just when you think there is nowhere to go, Bengaluru always throws in these surprises. Food Trails in this episode is at a place in one of the central areas of Bengaluru which almost reflects old Bangalore. And almost reading my mind, this place is also called Nowhere. And I am not alone here, mind you, because I have my friend Jervis, of course, another friend Paul, of course, and we have a surprise visitor in the form of RJ Melbourne. This establishment does live up to its name. No fancy lights and great big boastful neon signs on the outside. You have to know this place to be here. Which means you're not here by chance, but with a purpose. So it was simple. The idea was to, to build a neighborhood bar with food that was close to our heart, what we grew up with, what we loved and very, very close to what people loved around this particular area and this is where we grew up and that's exactly why this was born. The word nowhere was we, we didn't want it to be a particular place, we wanted it to be some space where everyone could come but it's not specific to anything that we do so it's, it's something that we want to have all across in the sense of food from the map. Also has very old Bangalore feels, you know, if you look around you'll, you'll feel, I don't know, gives you a vibe of being in old Bangalore very, which is very laid back and very easy going. So I think that's what sort of sets it apart at the moment from the other places. But word is spreading quick about this neighborhood friendly resto. And when a place is good, word of mouth spreads like wildfire. Almost a month ago when I did come here and Viber gave me some special dish, which turned out to be a Thai fried rice that they did. And to be honest, I don't think I've found another dish anywhere else around Bangalore that good and that authentic. Yeah, yeah, you like the what, keema, mini keema, masala dosa, it's very unique and uh, yeah, you can see it here. It tastes really well, good as well. Uh, the other thing I really like uh, about this place is it's a uh, very small, intimate uh, kind of setting. RJ Melbin, Paul, Pratibha and I were quick to warm up to this cosy yet airy space that gives you a feeling like you're probably at a coastal shack or at your friend's terrace and he's gone a little over the top to throw you a shindig. But the celebration is not about you or me, it's about us. In a land where there's plenty to drink, plenty to eat, lighting that sets up a mood of quiet retreat, a DJ who plays you songs from a time when music was music. There's a place to dance, space for your karaoke. In all, I guess what the management is telling you is, feel at home, take a seat and please eat before you go. have some alcohol you need to definitely have some sides right so I've chosen French fries and I opted for something really very really fatty because I'm I seem to be losing some weight so that is this chili cheese fries and uh, there's marinated uh, sauce as well as cheese I made the mistake of letting it stay for a while because I was enjoying my alcohol so the cheese is kind of dried up but then I think I'm still going to enjoy it because there is some marinated red chili and green chili sauce it tastes really good, but it's not as spicy as I would generally like it to be, but of course I blame the cheese for it. And it's really crisp and it kind of blends well with the cheese because the cheese softens it up. So you get a mixed texture. There is one side that is soft and there's the other side that is really crunchy because of the fries. And you can definitely not stop with one. Just when I think the cheese is a little too bland for my taste, I have the next interesting dish so well presented. This is called stuffed bell peppers. I call it the capsicum. And I'm a fan of capsicum because it is again really pretty spicy when you eat it. There is a layer of cheese on top of it and it has been baked because I think they kind of got to know that I'm, I need to lose some weight. So all my starters have been pretty much baked. Forget the cheese. 
there's this chaat masala that is sprinkled over it and that adds that extra flavor kind of gives you that very pani puri like feeling because it has stuffed potatoes inside with a tinge of onion as well as this chaat masala except that it's not a puri that is outside but it is capsicum absolutely tasty and quite filling of course So Abhishek excited about what's in front of you? I am, I am. So uh yeah, let's tell you guys what we have here. So we have a pepperoni pizza right here. We have a bacon sandwich over there and we have the goan sausage. So let's dig right in. Absolutely. And I'm excited because I like my food to resemble my personality and I like big now. So <laughs> so let's I'm going to do this. This is the goan pork sausages. I don't know what the sauce is like, but uh Not too bad. I think maybe just a little drier than I would have liked it, but I think overall it's uh, pretty good. Why don't we go for the sandwich? Though? All right, so this is the bacon and cheese sandwich. This tastes like my childhood, and that's a great thing. Love it. All right, so. I think the pizza is a two man job so yeah. uh, you, I'm going to go start way. off yeah let's do this uh I'm going at this with no expectations so let's hope this satisfies my expectations actually what I have in mind I'll tell you it's not the best beef pepperoni I've had it's all right at best it's very average The cheese sort of dominates it. Um the crust could have been uh in the oven for a little longer. But otherwise it's decent. It's not too great. Why don't you give it a shot? All right, yeah. I mean just by the looks of the crust, I um well, I'm not sure. Let's taste it before I say anything. Never judge before you try. I um I don't think I got my pepperoni slice so I'm going to have another bite. I think um this is it's pretty impressive because um I came with no expectations like I said and you know what you can't go wrong with a pepperoni pizza according to me and uh, they didn't go wrong. I think overall it's it's pretty decent and it's a great bite and um you can always wash it down. What I have with me here is the mutton keema dosa. Uh first off I did not know that it was going to come out this way. I thought a dosa would be round and you would have mutton keema over it. But this works as well I guess because uh I can see that it's quite a little oily which means that it's fresh. I hope that it's not too soggy and I I can't smell the mutton yet. But I can certainly taste the flavors. And in fact yeah slightly crispy on the outer edge which is quite surprising because when you look at it it doesn't seem that very crispy it's crispy on the outer edge and it's very soft on the inside so i like the layers again with mutton um the, the very important thing is the smell and this does not smell too much which means it's cooked right Now since I told you the bell peppers was quite filling I thought of settling in for something light when it came to main course so here is a mumbai veg sandwich now who wouldn't like that mumbai taste right you have that green chili chutney you remember especially with vada pav and stuff now the exact same green chili chutney is here you can see that layer and you also have mayo and you have cucumber and uh, tomatoes inside The green chili chutney is quite tangy as well. Not very spicy as I expected it to be. Perhaps it is the mayo that is kind of mitigating that uh, uh spicy tinge uh, of the green chutney. And it's toasted really well. Not too dark, not too crisp. Exactly uh you know maintaining the balance between the softness and the crispness. So exactly that way that it's toasted. 
I've already had my fill with the french fries. Now let me dip into this mayo. Apparently it's homemade mayo. It has a slight sweet tinge to it. I think there is some sort of mustard taste that I kind of taste and uh, quite bland to my taste not very much to my liking but then just the Mumbai sandwich is plain good simple so what I have with me is the akki roti and the pani fry which is uh, again served to me very differently it's a very uh, Neo traditional way uh, that's an oxymoron that doesn't make sense, but like I, I'm sure this food will make sense when it goes into my mouth. I like the fact that it's not, um, you know, everything is dry, um, which is what you want an akiroti roti to be very crispy and little soft as well. And uh, again, the pork is um, cooked. Right, it, I would like it to have been a little bit more flavorful, but it it fares okay. It really fares okay. We tried a whole range of dishes, but what we didn't show you is the Chinese pig, because it was served to us just moments before we were leaving. But it is a must try. Well, a few beers and few cheers. Come around twice or thrice and everybody knows your name. It's an amazing feeling to have when you're living the big city life and you're still part of this movement. A hazy, swayy, laid back movement that makes the right amount of noise. With just enough strength and fervor required before we all go gently into the quiet night. I know when I started the show I said I have nowhere to go but then I guess after coming here I know where to go. So isn't that right Jervis? Yeah, I guess uh, it's a place where you can uh, really experience the old school Bangalore. It's a place where you can just chill out, have a beer or two, meet some friends, you know. And if you want to let your hat on, you can let your hat on and nobody cares. It's fine. It's, you're, you're just uh, be to your own devices, as they say. Uh, and that's, that's what you get when you're here. You're nowhere, but you're somewhere where you belong. So I've been on a quest to look for the happiest place in Bangalore and this is definitely one of those places. It's a very good vibe, uh, brings back a lot of old Bangalore memories which a lot of us around the 80s and 90s would really enjoy. So it's a great place for drinks, their bar snacks are to die for, so definitely a place that I'd come to more often. Yeah, I, uh, I have to agree. I mean, the food, uh, you can't complain about anything with the food. It's great, it works, and the vibe is the most amazing thing about this place. And uh, just like Abhishek said, I think if, you just, if you're tired of the fast-paced places that we're so used to, come here, slow down a little bit, have some great food, great uh, drinks, very reasonable prices, nowhere works. And it's definitely on its way to becoming somewhere. I mean... Yeah.